As we mentioned earlier, WBL announcing their basketball honors today. On the boys' side, Salina's Ryan Hoing named Player of the Year with Bath's Andrew Renner. Defiance is Cat Juan Singleton, Elida's Austin Allmeyer, OG's Noah Bromwich, Shawnee's Jaden O'Neill, and Wapak's Adam Henderson joining Hoing on first team. Austin Scott wanted to expand this week's Layfield Welding Top 5 to 7 or even 12 like some All-League's first te teams, but Scooter held firm at 5. Wrestling makes its way on the top five for the first time this winter. We're at Oak Harbor for sectionals. Wapakoneta's Tyler Copeland picks up the pin here in the semifinals. He moves on to the finals and wins to become sectional champ in the 132 pound class. Bowling also making its debut on the countdown this week. Coldwater Shannon Osterfell with a pretty roll here to pick up the strike on her way to a 6-11 series and an individual district title. The Cavaliers also pick up the team championship in Rossford. More bowling at the three spot. Boys sectional action in Port Clinton. My dude Nate Keck from Wapakoneta rolls his sixth straight strike of the game here. He wins the individual crown with a 726, and Austin Kreitz tells me that's the Redskins' second straight sectional title. Back to the hardwood for the runner-up spot this week. Closing seconds of the first half at Corey Rawson. Ian Moser rips it from half court. Nylon, just how the senior drew it up. The Fighting Hornets defend the home court with a 69-50 victory over Arcadia. There's a great finish brewing in Minster as they take on Mac rival New Knoxville at the top spot. Final seconds of the game, Shane Top heaves up a long three-pointer, no good, but Logan Leffel is there for the putback at the buzzer. Count it! I love my Rangers, and I know Darla Miller and her family love that game winner as well. Great job by everyone behind the camera again this week, and thanks to Lafo Welding for striking up their support on the top five plays.